winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video. As you can tell by the title, we have hit 1,500 subs. That is so awesome. As you can see, 1,505 of you guys. And that is awesome. So, as I said, posted uh, the YouTube video. I posted this video on YouTube, Instagram, and on Facebook. Uh, the page did not get any questions, so we don't have to answer there. But we have it on Instagram and YouTube, and we have a lot of questions that uh, you guys asked that I'm going to answer. So, we're going to get started here with uh, the Instagram and go from there. So, Legoville Fire Rescue asked, who helped you start out modding? Um, boy, Serious Mods was a huge help. Uh, and LMB Farmer, those are the two main people. LMB Farmer is the one that taught me how to script. And I need to shut my door. Uh, LMB Farmer is the one that taught me how to script. And, uh, Serious Mods taught me how to do a lot of other stuff. So, those two guys, for the most part, um, Random Sparks has helped me some as well. He's an awesome guy. Um, and a few other people, uh, those are the three that, you know, have helped me the most. I know there's some other people, but I can't remember who they are offhand. Uh, Holden Sheffield, I think I'm saying that right, says, can you give me all your mods? Just kidding, LOL. But seriously, how long did it take you to get this good at modding? About how long does it take to make a simple mod map? First part of his question, how long did it take to get this good at modding? Um... I've been doing this for like, let's find out. <laughs> My files. For about a year, not quite. Uh, this is, this was my very first mod. This mighty handy cake feeder, or it wasn't really a mod, it was just a object. Um, and that was done in August of last year, so four months short of a year, so about eight months. Um, and yeah, I still have a long ways to go, but I'm getting there. Um, and then how long does it take to make a simple mod map? Um, really it's all in the size of the map, whether it's a standard, a 4x, an 8x, a 16x, uh, how you set it up, you know, it really just all depends on how you do it, what you do, the amount of detail you put into it. That's, um, all of what it depends on. Farm underscore toys one asks, when did you start YouTube? Let's find out. About, I started this channel December 2nd, 2011. So, about four years ago, almost five. Uh, Bryce... D. Zimmerman asks, will you ever give away your mods? P.S. They are awesome. No, I will not. Michaelis, I think I'm saying that right, 01. Are you as good as Lynn JB Modding? Heck no, I'm not even close. I hope to be uh, eventually one day in the future, but... Farming Simulator underscore photos asks, is the equipment used in Farming Simulator the same as what you do in real life? No, it is not. Um... There's maybe like one or two things that are the same, but no, there's not uh, anything that's similar. I plan to make some of our equipment in the near future, so then we'll have I'll have some of it to use, but no, there's really nothing that's similar. Travis underscore diesel underscore says, 
at craft underscore farms. This is for the Q&A. Who do you like to watch in your free time when you're not busy? Ian Robson is probably my favorite to watch. Um, Ian Robson, uh, Random Sparks, Lynn JB. I sit and go back and watch some of his older videos just because they're fun to watch. Um, and then I just kind of sit and look up different things, weird things, you know, different challenge videos. But those three are my favorites to watch. Dear Farmer underscore 8285R asks, are you going to be getting FS17? I have a lot of questions regarding 17, FS17, and I'm going to answer them all at the same time. So I'll answer your question in just a second. Colby underscore, I don't know how to say your last name. What is your favorite mod? My favorite mod. Um, jeez. I honestly have no idea. Maybe I'll say course play because that's the most helpful thing ever. TBH underscore Mason says, at craft underscore farms, what is the best mod site to use? American Eagles modding. That is the most... American Eagles modding, mod hoster, FSUK are the three best mod sites to use. Quentin Trinopole asks, do you farm in real life and what all equipment do you have? Yes, we do. Oh, we have a lot. Uh, for example, my dad has a 4430 John Deere tractor. Um, a, I want to say it's a 2200 John Deere swath or something like that. Um, we have 2290 case tractors. Uh, um, oh, geez. Uh, we have 1086 internationals. We have a, I think it's a 5088 international. Uh, we've got, uh, I think a 1466 international. What else do we have? We have a Deutz Far, a Deutz Alice, Deutz Far, whatever it is. I think it's a Deutz Alice, but I don't remember that, and it hasn't moved in, like, two years, so I don't know. Uh, what that is. We have a little New Holland tractor. I don't remember what that one is either. I don't remember. I think that's maybe it. We don't have a whole lot of them. Uh, Colton Grow 133 asks, is your map going to get released? No, it will not. Boop Farms 5240 asks, what IH tractor is your favorite? I don't have a favorite international tractor. I'm a John Deere guy. If I had to pick, probably a 1086 because that's what we have a lot of. Uh, but yeah, I'm a I'm a John Deere guy. I'm not a red guy. But uh, if I had to pick a IH, I'd probably either go with a 1086, 1466, or a 5088. Trent Merchant 18 asks, "What got you started doing YouTube videos of farm sim?" I enjoyed watching other people, uh, like mainly Ian Robson and, you know, I, uh, Lynn JB as well back then, and I loved playing the game, and I thought, well, you know, these guys have a lot of people that enjoy watching them play. I enjoy watching them play. I'm going to start doing some videos and see what kind of uh, response I get, and I got a good response. Everybody liked it, so here I am now. So that's all for uh, the questions on Instagram. So now we'll move over to YouTube where the majority of the questions are. Andrew P. asks, Q&A, will you do a 164 scale farm video in the future? Yes, I will very, very soon. Uh, I actually haven't done anything with the farms, the toy farm in a long time. But I am going to get everything ready for harvest and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to shut this off so that that goes away. Uh, but yes, very, very soon. Maybe this week or next week. Declan Fink asks, Q&A, what is your favorite truck and dream truck? And sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh... My favorite truck would probably have to be... I have two, I guess. My dad's Chevy 6.5 diesel uh, that we use at the farm. 
I love that truck. It's fun to drive. Sounds awesome. And um, my dream and my other favorite is his Dodge uh, Ram Laramie. He bought that straight out of the factory, brand new, a few years ago. I don't know how long. But it is an awesome truck. That is also fun to drive. Um, it's an awesome truck. It's got a lot of features in it. Uh, heated and cooled seats. Heated steering wheel. It's got a backup camera um, that has lines that tell you if you're getting too close to a vehicle behind you. And it also helps for hooking up a trailer. Um, it's got um, towing height control. You can lower the trailer. Um, like we, a few weeks ago, we bought a new calf chute uh, right before we went to Brand. And uh, we, my dad wasn't sure how it was going to sit on the pickup. So the pickup could be sitting too high, so then the trailer would be like this. So you can press a button, and it'll sink down, and then it'll sit right. But uh, we didn't have to do that for the calf chute, but we did have to do it for the gooseneck cattle trailer, um, or horse trailer, whatever you want to call it, when we uh, started hauling calves and cows out. Um, dream truck. Boy. An 80s Chevy. An 80s or 90s Chevy truck. Uh, prefer preferably diesel. Uh, Chevy or GMC, I guess. They're pretty much the same thing, so... Uh, an older Chevy or GMC uh, diesel truck. The I love the older trucks, um, and they're just they're a lot nicer. Ross W asks, "Do you think you will release any more mods, and will you be making public mods in Farming Simulator 17?" Will I release any more mods? Probably not. Um, but things may change. I don't know. Uh, and your 17 question will be answered when I answer all the 17 questions. John Deere, 6930man, says, Q&A, what is your favorite tractor, name, and model? John Deere, 4430. Uh, my dad, like I said, has a 4430, and it is an awesome tractor. I love hearing it start. Uh, just the sound of it starting is awesome. Tractorman4650 asks, Q&A, what's the first tractor you have drove? Sadly, it was not a John Deere. It was a Case 1270, and we still have that tractor today. Um, and it's actually a funny story about that tractor recently. But I'll tell you the story of when I first drove. Uh, it was, boy, maybe like 2007, 2008, somewhere in there. I'm not, it's, I, w I know I was young, a lot younger. I was out with my dad. We were hauling hay, and it's like November, uh, October, somewhere between September and November. And we had the peat truck out with the flatbed. Uh, that was back when we still used the semi. We don't use it anymore. Uh, we use a hay hiker trailer and the track, one of the tractors to haul hay now. Um, oh, we also have the 1270 and the 1570, answering one of the Instagram questions of what we have for tractors. I forgot about those two. Uh, the 1570 sat out in the trees for, I think, I think my grandpa said like 10 years. They stuck a battery in it, new hydraulic fluid, and maybe some other new fluids. I can't remember what else they put in it. And it fired right up. Uh, it does have a leak. We ran the V-Rake with it last year. And uh, depending on how we had it hooked up, either the, you know, when you're going down the road, either the rake would start opening and closing or start opening and you'd have to sit there holding it closed or else the rake wheels would go down and you'd have to sit there and hold them up um but yeah so the 1270 we were out hauling hay and uh i was riding around in the tractor with my dad and he climbed out to hop in the semi because what we did is park the semi in one spot unload it or loaded all the bales around it and then we'd move it and my dad went to go get out to get in the truck, and I went to get out behind him, and then he got down and he said to sit down in the seat and see if I could reach the clutch, and I could, and he said, okay, now try and push it in, so I pushed it in, and he told me what gear to go in, and he said, follow me, and 
didn't tell me nothing else. And so I'm like, okay, all right, I got this. And um, what else? Oh, I went to stop by the truck, and he didn't tell me that you had to use the clutch or that only one brake, only one brake pedal moved one side. He didn't tell me that. So I go and I press the brake, and I only press the right side, and I start going towards the truck, and he didn't tell me any of that. So he hops in, he kind of is laughing, and he goes, you have to push the clutch in and then try and press both the brakes. Okay. And then a little while later, then I figured out how to run the loader because we the field has um, a waterway running through it, but on the one end, we can go through and there's a big dip. And so I started going down, but the forks were going to go straight in, so I had to figure out, okay, how the heck do I raise this thing? And, you know, I had been, I always sit and watch my dad so that, you know, I'm sitting there, nothing else to do. And so I just kind of sit and watch my dad. And I remember him hitting one of these levers. So I hit one and the loader went down. So I was like, okay, I got to go the other way. And then it went up. Uh, Farmboy9230 says, Q&A, where do you get most of your mods? Um, AEM, Mod Hoster, FSUK, and LS2015, and then, um, creations slash edits that I do, and things from friends, uh, that they do, or edit, uh, Facebook groups, Facebook pages, all, all sorts of places. Uh, Hi Ty says, what filming equipment do you use? At the moment, I'm using my open broadcaster software. Uh, I'm not going to do use the action recording software right now. ND Rocks says, Q&A, how did you learn to make mods? Uh, kind of answered your question in another question of who helped me. Um, you know, Sirius, LMB, and Random Sparks, those are the three main guys that helped me learn. But also just a lot of sitting on YouTube, looking up things, looking up things on Google, um and that kind of stuff um yeah just a lot of youtube a lot of google and a lot of trial and error just sitting screwing around in blender and giants editor and uh, you know i started small i started out by editing spring hill valley for 2013 i was removing walls trees fences and buildings on there and moving them around and bringing in new ones and that kind of stuff. LGA Agriculture, Q&A, what made you start YouTube? Um, I had this room full of farm toys. Uh, if you guys look at my very oldest video, it is called... I can't remember what exactly it's called. Let's go to playlists because I know it's at the top or should be. Um, where is it? Where the heck is it? Huh. I know it's here somewhere. Well, what the world? Let's go like this, actually. It should come up here somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Playlist. Hmm. Well, it's called like 164, 132, 116 scale farming video or something like that. Something weird like that. I had this room full of farm toys. Uh, it was mostly 164, but I had a couple 132, a one, couple 116 scale things as well in there. And I don't know why at that time. That I don't know. But I wanted to show this stuff off to somebody, and I didn't, you know, other than my family and friends, and I wanted to show it to other people that were interested in this. And I watched a lot of 
Hunter Hassam's videos or Hassam Farms uh, is what it was back then. Uh, his videos, a bunch of other people. And I'm like, I want to try this out. I want to see what people think of this. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how I started or why I started. Brett Hennig asks, do you have any projects planned? Um, I'm not sure what kind of projects you mean. Uh, if you mean mod projects, yes, I have one in the works right now that you guys have seen on my Instagram probably. It's a Duo Lift DC6050 cone bottom chemical trailer. Uh, I have been videoing as I make it, so in a, about a week or so, you guys should be able to see that video. And uh, yeah, that'll be out in a few weeks. I have a bunch of other projects that I found on Tractor House that I want to do. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things. Uh, Noah Reese and Andrew to the Max asks, ask very similar questions. Um, what do you plan to do when you get older job, and what do you want to be when you get older, or when you're older? Um, I want to farm. That's what I want to do. Uh, farming is it's what I've grown up around. It's what... All my family does. It's what I want to do. Uh, if I can't do that, then I don't know. I'll find out, I guess. Uh, Zane, I think it's Entz. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Q&A, do you plan on going to college? And if you are, are you still going to make videos? Yes, I'm planning on going to college. And yes, I will still make videos. The videos will never stop. Hopefully, anyways. <laughs> um, yes, I will hopefully do uh, videos as I go to college. Um, I plan to go out to college in like maybe two years when I turn 18 or after I turn 18, um, you know, because you guys know that I've been, that I was taking my GED. Um, I don't know if I announced that I passed it or not, but I did pass it and I have my GED. So I am now done with school until college. So I'm going to wait like maybe two years and go to college. Farming Nation 145, Q&A, will you release your whip? Will Brothers map, and hope you find a job. No, I will not, and uh, job, me too. Uh, I just finished the uh, fireworks job a few weeks ago. Now I'm going to put in applications. Areas, at, there's a couple places. Uh, Tractor Supply Co., which they have a lot of, like, toolboxes, uh, tractor, you know, smaller tr tractor par parts. You know, they have chains and a bunch of other that kind of stuff. Um... And then there's Ace Hardware, which is obviously a hardware store. Those are both within, like, biking distance of here. So because I don't have a vehicle yet, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about that, about trying to figure out how to get there. Um, you know, I haven't, I don't have enough saved up for a vehicle quite yet. Uh, Jennifer Loveridge, Q&A, for FS15 pickup trucks, do you have all brands? No, not all brands. I have... Uh, Ford, Dodge, Chevy, GMC, and I think that's all that I have for pickups, um, and stuff like that. Uh, Theodore Kathman, Q&A, what future features would you like to see in FS17? I'll answer that question. Uh, Dakota Plank, Plank, 4630, are you going to get FS17? I'll answer that question in a second. Tyson Johnson, what are you looking forward to in, to the... What are you looking forward to the new version of FS17 if you get it and why? All right, I'm going to answer all of these FS17 questions with one answer and a long answer. I am not getting FS17. To me, it's basically 15 with an edited game engine, a couple of features that have been added by modders to the game since the game started, like, they're adding sunflowers. We've been adding that, you know, modders have been adding that since, like, 09, 011, whenever. Um, they're basically just adding new starting equipment, new maps, and a couple of new features that people have already been adding. They're just coming standard now. For me to buy the game is going to take a lot more than that. They would need to add fixed bail physics, better game engine, better vehicle handling, more realism. 
I want to see, you know, where you fill your trailers. You don't have a fill level. You fill it, you know, like your hopper trailers. You don't suddenly stop filling and it's 100% full. No. You fill in a spot, the grain piles up there, and it, you fill it how full. And it is actual realistic piles of the grain where you're dumping. Not this, you know, the dynamic, they're trying, but they're still got a long ways to go. Um, there needs to be a lot changed in 17 before I'd even consider buying it. Not to mention the fact that they upped the price of the game by like $10, $15. I don't get that. Um, yeah, it's not a problem. I mean, I could save for it, but why they upped it from the 20-something to 30-something... That makes no sense. Uh, the trailers are obviously not real. That's the same as it was with 15. They come up with some fake trailer until close to the release. Um, so at this point, it's very difficult to know what it's going to be like. Um, and to me, the 15 community is bad enough. I don't see why. I don't see moving on with this community to another game where it's just going to either get even worse or be just as bad. Um, I know how to mod 15, so why go to 17? Then you got to convert all your mods over. You got to learn how to script for that game. Got to learn how to work the mods and all that crap. I don't see why. Now, a lot of people want 17 because you got to keep moving forward. I don't plan on it. Uh, there's still people that play 2013, like uh, Peter built 359, um, Walsh Brothers, that's who that is. Those guys still play 13, and they do a dang good job of modding it. They enjoy it, so why move on? They don't have to, they don't want to, they don't plan to. Maybe they do, I guess, but they haven't. I plan to stick with 15. And I plan to wait for Cattle and Crops to come out. Because that game looks like it's going to blow Giants out of the sky. Because that game looks way, way nicer. But, then again, their trailers could also be not accurate. You never know. But their trailers look a heck of a lot better than the 15 trailer. Or 17 trailer, excuse me. So, I won't be modding for 17. I won't be buying 17. I won't be playing 17. Um, I just, it's going to take a lot for me to want to get it. Um, and I just, yeah, I, I am not getting it. It's just, there's so much that they would have to add for me to want to buy it that it's not even worth it because I know it's not going to get added. Um, but yeah, uh, if I had the knowledge to make my own game, I sure as heck would, and I'd make it exactly like I want it. Exactly how it should be. But I have no knowledge like that, so I can't. I'm just going to stick to 15 and make the game better for myself. You know, I've got my map in the works. I got this cone bottom trailer in the works. I got a fleet of old iron that I'm going to be working on once this cone trailer is done. Uh, of Alice Chalmers, old John Deere's, old internationals. Old cases, um, gleaners, you know, just old stuff. Um, you know, like one thing is a Alice Chalmers fifteen hundred chisel. Um, my dad's forty four thirty. I'm gonna replicate that. Our ten eighty sixes, our fourteen sixty sixes, our twenty two nineties, our twelve seventy, our fifteen seventy. I'm gonna replicate those. I mean, yes, I know there's a 1270 and 1570 in game already, but I'm going to make replicas of ours because I've been around them. I can easily get pictures, and I can make them how I want them. I can make them the quality I want. I can make them the detail I want, the textures I want, the dirt I want. Make them how I want them. You know, the 1270, 1570 pack that was converted over was poorly done. The dirt is kind of weirdly set up. The handling on them is kind of terrible. It's like all of the weights on the front end and the back end is like 
sitting off the ground is what it would seem like because when you turn the back end swings around I mean they were greatly done in 13 but they were poorly converted to 17 or 15 good grief I'm reading 17 here on the comments and getting me screwed up but yeah so that's the Q&A video half an hour um, thank you guys so much for all your questions Thank you so much for subscribing. I never imagined to be this far up in subs. I started this channel thinking 50 subscribers, that's going to be awesome. I hit 50. I hit 75. I hit 100, 200, 300. Kept building and now I'm at 1,500. There, Yes, there's people way bigger than me. Would I like to be up in, you know, like, tens of thousands of subscribers yeah that'd be cool i'm not in it for the money like some people um i'm sure there's a lot of farming simulator people that don't care for the money i don't either i'm not in it for the money i'm in it for the enjoyment of doing this it's fun to sit and record videos it's fun to read what you guys say about the videos it's fun to take your guys's suggestions into consideration it's fun to you know have you guys you guys tell me things, you know, like, um, a suggestion for a tractor to buy. I know I don't do that very much because I buy the stuff and, you know, start big. But I promise you guys, once my map is complete, I'm going to be playing totally legit. Starting off small with a loan. Got to pay off that loan. Got to build up. You guys will, you know, help me say, okay, I think it'd be cool if you bought this Alice Chalmers or this Case or this John Deere or this International Tractor and this Implement, this Combine, this Pickup, this Trailer, whatever. Um, so believe me guys, once my map is done and I'm really, really, really playing legit, I'm definitely going to take a lot of input from you guys. I love taking input from you guys right now even. And I try and take as many of your guys' suggestions as I can. But a lot of them, I can't. You know, things like, things that just I can't do. You know, I don't have an example of one right now, but whatever. Um, also, I'm going to be starting doing way more tutorials for you guys. Major ones starting off uh, with the videoing progress of this Duo Lift trailer. Uh, the first video is going to be of the modeling. From, you know, me modeling it from start to finish. The second episode will be doing the AO bakes, the edge splits, the face recalculation, uh, baking all the textures, getting all the textures from PNG to DDS format, uh, getting it over to Giants Editor with all of those textures, and then the third episode and however many other episodes will be getting it in-game, getting it functioning, getting it scripted all of that stuff and you guys will be able to see how I do this and hopefully you guys will be able to learn stuff from it as well uh, you know it may be a little harder to learn from it because it is time-lapsed I can't help that I don't want to be putting out like three hour long videos four hour long five hour long however long you know I mean I know these videos are gonna end up probably being like an hour to something like that but you know like right now I have an hour and an hour and 45 minutes worth of video that's without cutting it down with the time lapse and I <laughs> I only have the main frame and the tanks done on it I still have a long ways to go just on the modeling so I have probably got like maybe another one to two and a half maybe even three hours left of model work um, maybe that's just blender work in general you know but uh, like I said, going to do a lot more tutorials for you guys, both, you know, how to, like, edge split, how to recalculate your faces, how to AO bake. I know I did a tor tutorial a long time ago, but I, I was totally way off in that I know how to do it now. I know how to do a lot more stuff, even than, like, a month ago, I know how to do a lot more. Because with modding, you're constantly figuring stuff out, and you're constantly knowing new things, figuring out new things. Um, and just stuff like that. So, yeah, um, thanks guys for watching. 
and I hope I answered all your guys' questions well. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm going to do another one, another Q&A at like maybe 2,500 or 3,000 whenever we reach that, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you know people that will also like the channel, share the channel with them. Uh, and then I have a question for you guys. I had this idea to make like merchandise kind of stuff. My mom told me I have a website that you can take your own logo and stuff and put it on products and put it out there to sell. I haven't looked into it. I don't know what kind of products, but just kind of thought that'd be kind of a neat idea. And then, you know, like maybe like mugs or pens or maybe t-shirts, maybe hoodies, uh, maybe like a mouse pad or something, you know, just kind of something to like give to you guys. You know, I think it'd be kind of cool to do that. You know, I don't know what you guys would think. I mean, I know I'm for sure going to make a Craft Farms t-shirt, at least for myself. Whether I put it out for you guys to buy, you know, if I make one for myself, it's not going to be like anything I put out for sale because I'm going to totally personalize it and, you know, put it out there and make it well known that, you know, this shirt is for me, that this is for my channel, that I'm representing myself, really. And, you know, all of any, I will say this right now, any money that I make from that will go back into the channel some way, whether it's a new mic, new recording software, uh, computer upgrades, whether it's, you know, like, softwares, you know, new games, um, for you guys to watch, for me to play, that kind of stuff, and, you know, just stuff like that, and I wouldn't go out and, like, buy, like, a new phone with that money, or, you know, food, or something like that, it would go back to you guys, and, um, so yeah, I just think this is really awesome that I've hit 35 or 1500. Jeez, <laughs> I've been talking for way too long. I think it's awesome that I'm at 1500. That is so cool, and I never imagined being here, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. And I'm gonna keep putting out awesome videos for you guys. Um, Maybe in the future, I might do some odd releases. Um, you know what? I'm going to say that... Well, no. <laughs> One, yeah. Once I reach 2,000 subscribers on YouTube and 10,000 followers on Instagram, when I reach those two things, you know, it's not like I'm going to hit 10,000 on... Uh, Instagram and release something and then hit 2,000 on YouTube and release something once I re have reached both of those I will release something I don't know what it is because by that time I might have made a few new mods that I would love to release or something like that we'll see but once I reach those two things I will do a big mod release for you guys maybe it'll be like two maybe three mods we'll see but uh, yes and I promise that that will happen. It's not like I'm just going to say this to try and get subs. I'm going to give a mod to you guys once I reach that. Um, and I might do more mod releases. I don't know. We'll see. If I do, it will strictly be to my mod site. And that will be the only place. Uh, my mod site and open source FS and um, maybe ATF modding. But those are the only places I would do it. I wouldn't do it on AM. I wouldn't do it on Mod Hoster. None of those places. I would do it strictly to my mod site and maybe a couple others. But, uh, yeah. Maybe there will be some mod releases coming up. Maybe not. We'll see. Just going to depend, I guess. Um, but we'll see. So, thank you guys for asking all your awesome questions. Hopefully you got a good answer. If not, <laughs> sorry I tried. Um... Uh, I tried, but as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and share it. Share the heck out of it. Leave your comments down below. 
and subscribe if you haven't already if you're new to the channel make sure you check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias my mod website other cool youtube channels as well as my pc specs and uh hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next video see you soon